Hi, I'm Bill Cook from the Greenlee County Cooperative Extension in Duncan. Uh, this beautiful early spring day, we're out here looking at a really neat little contraption that if you don't have one yet, you're probably going to want. This is a cold frame. And what this does is, it's almost like a miniature greenhouse of sort, but uh, it enables us to keep salad greens and stuff. We just did build this, so it's not full. But it's a good way here in our climate to have salad greens pretty much through the winter and well into the spring. It offers quite a bit of protection. Um, it's a simple idea. It's just like a big box. In this case, we used recycled materials that we had laying around. We used some, some concrete blocks, which is good for the thermal mass. We used some old salvaged lumber. It's not pretty, but it works. And we covered it with some, uh, some leftover greenhouse film. Real simple idea. And of course we used inside, we used lick tubs. We just planted this a week ago. You can see the radishes are up pretty good. We put a little bit of shard in here. We did this with the homeschool group. Um, we have some beets just beginning to come up. What this does, it kind of buffers the climate a little bit. And this old greenhouse film that we covered it with, it lets enough sun through. It blocks a little bit, but it works real well. I've seen this done with old leftover windows and all kinds of stuff. And we've situated it here on the east side of our garden shed, so we're getting morning sun, afternoon shade, which is kind of the holy grail here in Arizona. So this is a real handy thing. It's real easy to do for the amount of space it takes. Uh, it'll keep you in all kinds of stuff, particularly greens. And that is a cold frame. And an additional benefit to this uh, cold frame, we have trouble here with javelina. Some people have trouble with deer, rabbits, things like that. And I think this is substantial enough to uh, keep the rabbits and the javelina and the deer and stuff out.